Have you had a bit of time to get hydrated now? Feeling okay? Ah, that's good. It's warming up in here a bit now. Fire's been going for half an hour or so, so you could probably get out of bed without freezing. If you need to wash, I... Uh, I'm not sure what to suggest, actually. Um, well, I suppose I could put up a screen of some kind by the fire, separate a little area for you to bathe in. I do have a wash tub that ought to be big enough. Uh, okay, no, I... I don't have to put up the screen if you don't feel like you need it. On reflection, I suppose I'm not bothered either. After, well, after what we just did. Seems it would be a little superfluous. Let me run a bath for you, anyway. The tub's just, uh... Where did I put it? Ah, here it is. Oh, no, thank you. But don't worry, you don't need to get water manually. I'll just cast Create Water. I should do the trick just fine. Yeah, I use it all the time for creating small amounts of water for alchemy and such. I've never made this large an amount before, but how hard can it be? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little harder to stop the water than I expected. But, you know, tub's full. <laughs> no. I'd never done this before. Vampires don't really need to wash. We don't produce any bodily fluids. No sweat, no sebum. There's no need to bathe, really. If I get something dirty on me, I just spot clean that bit. I did wash occasionally for a while after I turned, but I stopped doing that after a year or so. All the old human habits just died off. You know, this, this probably sounds quite disgusting to somebody who hasn't been living with it for 20 years, so just pretend I never said any of that. Oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> it would be cold. Let me heat it for you. I've got a little spell for that as well. There, you hop in and get nice and clean. I hope it's warm enough. <laughs> Good. I'll, uh, I'll get to work on finishing up what I can here. I'll try not to look too much. Okay. Yeah, this reduction is done. Good thing we woke up when we did. I wouldn't have wanted to leave it any longer than this. No. Why'd I put that powdered moonstone? Mm. Oh, that's not it. Uh, uh, that's just salt. Fuck. Where? Ah. Here it is. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, four grams. I think it should be about right. I... Hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh. The... Yes, I... I was talking to myself, wasn't I? I'm just not used to having company, so I think I must talk to myself a lot. Good to get your thoughts out of your head when you're working on something big, I think. Makes them easy to process. Oh, don't tell me you don't do it. I remember what it was like back in the League. People would be muttering to themselves about the next hunt they were planning, some tracking technique, a uh, new kind of poison they were itching to try, all sorts. We're all the same. <laughs> That's what I thought. So, no judgement from you. Thank you very much. How's that bath? Oh, of course, I'm sorry. I think I might have some soap somewhere. Don't have much need of it for myself, but it's sometimes useful for cleaning animal hides and things. Let me see. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Catch. Ooh, close. You know, I would have thought a vampire hunter would have slightly better coordination than that. <laughs> what do you mean, where's this coming from? Ah, well, I, I suppose uh, after this morning I feel a little more comfortable around you. Are you not glad of it? Mm -hmm. well, I think if I were you, I'd prefer a little cheek over shy awkwardness. That isn't the entirety of my being, even if it is a large part of it. 
Well, people can surprise you, can't they? Even, even non-people like me. But you've certainly surprised me. Tell me, how would you rate bathing here versus the bathhouse at the Hunter's League headquarters? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought you'd say. Sounds like it hasn't changed at all. It was... Well, I suppose it had its charms. It was a nice place to spend if becoming intimately familiar with your fellow hunters was your goal. Not the greatest place in the world to get clean, though. Just, uh... Too many distractions. You know what I'm referring to, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sink to that level. You know exactly what I'm talking about anyway. <clears throat> so, I hope you find this place a little more relaxing of a bathing room. I'm certainly enjoying it. That was a bit much, wasn't it? Came on a bit strong. Yeah, I'm sorry. Still getting used to all this. All this. I mean, quite literally all of this. This whole situation that we're in. You being here, having to talk to you, seeing you uh, unclothed. It's a lot of change all at once. But change that I've been looking forward to, at least some of it. Okay. Anyway, this ground moonstone should have dissolved. Yeah, looks like it has now. Essence of allium. <laughs> Look at that colour. Look at that. That's just right. Just the reaction I was hoping for. That crimson. Okay. The base of the tincture is, I think, ready. With this concentrate, we should have enough to cure... Oh, I'm not sure exactly, but hopefully a number in the thousands. Yes, my plan is to dilute this in a large supply of holy water. I believe then, a small amount applied to a vampire in some way, as long as it gets into the bloodstream, should be all that's needed. Ah, <laughs> well, that's the best part. If I've got this right, I won't need to make any more of it. In theory, once a vampire has been cured with this substance, their blood then becomes a cure. Not only will they be immune from being turned again, a small donation of blood from them will be enough to cure ten more, and from those ten, enough to cure a hundred more, and so on. Yes, this is why it's taken so long. That alchemical reaction was hard to nail down. It wasn't just curing vampirism that was the challenge, it was making a cure that was actually feasible. Many of the ingredients of the cure itself are very, very rare. I wanted to do everything possible to make this an attractive proposition to the League. If it cost a hundred platinum pieces to cure a single vampire, I really doubt anyone would be interested. They'd just keep killing. <sighs> ah, but you've got me blathering. I'm sure you're not that interested. Here, let me help you out of the tub. That soap makes things ever so slippery. You do look incredible in the firelight. Can I... <laughs> right. Uh, don't... Please don't distract me. <laughs> it will be so easily done. If you'd like to get dressed, we've a god of birth and renewal to pray to. Ah, yeah. Here, you can take a shirt of mine. It's clean. No. Yeah, take this. Be careful with it. Months of work in that tiny bottle. And if you would just hold my hand, would that be okay? Good. Quite firmly. Just so. Now, uh, I'm going to pray to Lathanda, and then cast a spell of blessing. With luck, our little tincture here will be blessed in the necessary way, and we'll be ready for dilution. Are you ready? I don't know if you'll feel anything, but uh, it might not hurt to brace yourself. I expect this will be something quite powerful, 
in one way or the other. Okay. Uh, hold on, I, I wrote something for this to make the prayer clear. It's important to be very specific in these kinds of things. Okay. Here I go. <laughs> Lathander, God of birth and renewal, please hear my prayer. Before you stand two dedicated servants who want nothing more than to heal the rift between those poor unfortunates afflicted by the disease of vampirism and those who have been lucky enough to avoid it, we, both of us together, a vampire and a human, want nothing more than a rebirth of those suffering from this curse. Please, in your wisdom, bless this tincture. May it bring new life to those who have been cursed with vampirism. We pray also that you will guide us in our work and give us the strength to see it through and that you may help those who would doubt us to see it. In your name, Lathander, we pray. Is... Is that... Did that do it? Well, it certainly felt more promising the last time. For one thing, I'm still conscious. And yes, all my things haven't been banished to another plane. That was a real pain, let me tell you. He was angry last time. So, the cure. Does it feel any different in your hand? Is it warm or anything like that? Okay, it is. That's a... That's a good sign, I think. We should... How can we test this? Uh, well, in its current highly concentrated state, it should be impossible for me to touch it without a great deal of pain, <laughs> and most likely being set aflame. So, I think that's the test. Listen, put that vial down in the holder here. Okay, now, you be ready with a bit of water to douse the flame if it happens. I'm gonna... Just put a finger in it, just the tip, and if, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, if the tip of my finger sets on fire, well, then I'd say it worked. Are you ready with that water? Okay. Three, two, one. Ah, <laughs> the water, <laughs> quick. <laughs> ah, fuck. But... <laughs> Yes, it worked. I, <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it fucking worked. We did it. A cure. <sighs> but I couldn't. I couldn't have done this without you. You know. I can't thank you enough. Oh, next. Uh, well, I, I suppose we need to pack up some things and get ready to head to the Hunter's League headquarters. With you by my side, I'm sure we won't have any trouble. When we're there, we'll need to procure a large quantity of holy water to dilute this in, of course. I hope that the League will be willing to help with that. I'm sure they have someone to go to for such things. <laughs> yes, bulk production of holy water is not something I'm aware of having been done before, but there must be a way. We'll figure it out. Together. Me and you. I'm sure we'll find a way. After all, we managed to do this. I'm sorry, I am talking very fast, and I am just... Uh, I think we've done it. Oh no, please, it, it's a we. You have to take some credit. Your belief, your openness, your generosity and willingness to help. All my research would have been nothing without that. I truly believe that if someone else came along, this couldn't possibly have worked. The relationship between you and me. That was the vital part. Remember, this is not the only time I've got to that stage. The prayer to Lathander was always the primary point of failure. But with you... Well, of course it was going to work. You were incredible. I, I just... In a few days time, we may be able to do what we did this morning, but for real, properly, you know, with me as a human again, not a 
thing. And do you think, I don't know if maybe you just got all wrapped up in this because it seemed so important or something, you know, what I'm saying is, do you think you'll still be interested in me after this is all done and dusted? <laughs> no, I, I don't know why I'm questioning that now. I just realized that there must have been a certain allure to a vampire with a mission. It all seemed very urgent and important, and if I were you, I, I think it might have been quite easy to get all swept up in things. I, I'm just saying, I, I hope you don't regret it, and that, like me, perhaps, you see a future between us. <sighs> no, I suppose you're right. Maybe I am just going a little crazy over the first person I've talked to probably for 20 years. That wouldn't be unrealistic. But also, you know, I don't not believe in fate. Perhaps this is just what Lathander had in mind. Perhaps this is his doing, or the doing of another deity with which he's in league. We can't know their intentions, or what they do and don't control. This, uh, it just all seems too good to be a mere coincidence. You're right, that was a very long-winded way of saying that you're fantastic, and if we know each other for the rest of our lives, I'll be pleased about it. But, hell, even if we part ways, I'll be happy to have known you. But I don't think that's likely to happen, not if I have anything to say about it. No. Good. Well, let's, uh, let's pack some things for travelling, and then get on our way. The Hunter's League awaits. I can't believe it. <laughs> this all worked out. This is beyond my wildest dreams. Yes, I was certain that somewhere along the way we'd hit a roadblock. It just all seems so unlikely that everything would go to plan. But it has. You, the cure, working with the League. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Yeah, I don't know. From that conversation, it sounded like it might take them a while to gather enough holy water to start treating vampires en masse. But while you were catching up with everyone, I went to see the priest, and look what she was able to give me. Yeah. A little bit of holy water. Enough for at least one treatment. So, yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'll take it. Why wait? I can't think of any reason I'd want to stay a vampire for one second longer. Plus, hell, I still have yet to prove absolutely that this cure works, although I'm certain of the theory. I, I should be my own test subject before using it on anybody else, don't you think? Exactly. So... I'll just add a drop of the cure into this holy water, and uh, I don't really know how we expect to administer this to vampires. Getting it into them anywhere at all should work, so I guess on the tip of an arrow? <laughs> no, no need to do that to me, you can put your bow away. I'll just uh, drink it. Bottoms up. that it? I think... I mean, I feel warm and like... Oh, this is... Where's a mirror? <sighs> Holy shit. I can see myself. I haven't been able to... Not for so long. Oh my god. I haven't aged. I wasn't really sure how that would work. I was sort of worried that once the vampirism was cured, so the anti-aging effects would disappear and time would catch up. But no. I looked just as I did when I was turned. Except, well, it left the cheekbones. 
It left the one good thing about vampirism. This is... This is perfect. It's fucking worked. Come here. How does it feel to kiss me without my lips being ice cold? Can you... Can you feel my heartbeat? I can feel it. It's beating so fast. The rush of this. I... So much more intense than my the blood pressure. It's I knew there was something special between me and you, but I'd forgotten it could feel this way. Come to bed with me. Now I need you. <laughs> 